and welcome to this series of case studies and experiments using PicoScope. That's uh, PicoScope software and also NBH as well. So that's in the Pico diagnostic software. Um, it, it really follows cases that I, I feel no other tool would have got us out of trouble, would have helped us diagnose conclusively what the, what the problem was. In some cases, you don't end up with a diagnosis. You know exactly the depth of repair required and to actually repair is beyond economical repair. Nevertheless, you've got that evidence that, that stops those awful incidents happening where it's an awkward discussion or it just becomes a scrap vehicle. In most cases, or it can be that that is the case. All right, let's move on to um, Toyota Prius. This had uh, a DTC for B1498, AC communication malfunction. And just have a look at how this air conditioning system works. This vehicle had been in an accident repair and vehicle had been repaired, but there was this communication and no operation of air conditioning compressor. Now then, um, We've got compressor with motor assembly and we've got the power management control ECU. Uh, with four wires we're looking at here, we're looking at a clock synchronization signal, uh, CLK on the green. We're looking for a DIN command from the ECU. So that's a command from the ECU to the compressor. And then there's D out, that's the response from the compressor back to the ECU. And of course, there is a supply between the two, that's the STB. Okay, and here are those signals. I've put a note here. Can you see any concerns below? Think outside the box. It's so much easier to think outside the box with hindsight. At the time, I could not see this initially. Um, clock signal is good. Supply is good. D out and D in, it's all good. It looks good. Until you think about how this process should work. So the compressor uh, controller would send a command out and there would naturally be a delay um, with the feedback, with the response. Here, if you look closely, they're actually a mirror image of one another. If I slide the scales um, down, you would see that one would overlay the other. Now, that cannot be the case because you have a, a command and a response. There would naturally be a phase shift. And what I found amusing with this. In fact, uh, after fix, the wires were shorted together. So this was D in and D out were touching. This had had an accident damage at the front location of where the compressor is, is at the front and the wires had been pinched. When you look closely now, D in and D out are no longer duplicates. They're no longer mirror image. They are phase shifted. You've got your command and then your delay and your response. But where I was going with that was what I found interesting was you, you as part of the flow chart for diagnosis, you would ask for short to ground, short to positive, continuity. Never once were you expected to measure um, short circuit between D in and D out. And when you course you follow the chart, you replace the compressor. And if that doesn't cure it, you replace the ECU. So you're in for a lot of money for what is basically two wires shorted together. Okay, that's it. Um, thank you for watching and any questions, please send them over and um, yeah, we'll endeavor to answer them as ever. All right, take care.